one of the gate God opens for people in the days of their weakness is the door of mercy. God knows the strategies of Satan. So he brings mercy to the table so that his good will be fulfilled in your life. The Satan of the Old Testament is the Satan of the New Testament. His mission is just one, not two. To kill and to steal human destiny, to destroy their purpose, to make sure they miss the best of God. Jesus said, he came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. So the mission of Satan is not different. His strategy is not different. In Genesis chapter 3, how did they describe Satan? He was subtle. In Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 10, how did they describe Satan? The wiles of the devil. So Satan is constant the same way the Old or the New Testament didn't change God. But what changed is the platform of victory for you. The warfare did not change. For example, in the Old Testament, sin is sin. And for sin to be cleansed in the Old Testament, they need blood. In the New Testament, we need blood. But in the New Testament, we need the blood of Christ that doesn't just cleanse, but cleanses the conscience. So the battle is the same. The platform of victory is what changed. So Christ has come for us as the key of God's mercy, which means the covenant that grants access to promises. The promises did not change. The access is what changed. So that by the new and living way which Christ has consecrated to his blood, we now have access to the promises of God. Say amen. amen. One of the major promises of God for you is victory over the adversary. I have victory by mercy. I don't need to know how many war I'm fighting. I don't need to know how many warfare is going on over my life. But one thing is certain. The door of mercy has been opened for me through Christ Jesus. And so I have victory by mercy. Now rise on your feet and make it your declaration this morning.